Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for May the 12th. I am going to be pulling one card for overall energy. And then after that, we will be looking at one card per sign to see what kind of uh, energies we have showing up for everybody once we've got that card combination in play. So overall energy shows up as three of pentacles coming up in reverse. This is interesting because it talks about the idea of planning to collaborate with someone about something, having those plans on the table, but then at the last minute, that person is not able to or not willing to actually meet us at the table with whatever they're supposed to be bringing to the collaboration. So that gives us some choices. That gives us the option of figuring out, do we want to reschedule this collaboration for what a time that works better for for us and the other person, or do we want to just let this collaboration go? Or do we want to pick up those other responsibilities and just carry this whole thing by ourselves? So that's going to be kind of the choice in front of us for today as this plays out. But let's take a peek and see how it plays out for each individual sign. So first of all, we're showing Aries coming, or Aries coming up as the full in reverse. So Aries with that full in reverse, this is actually not such a surprise to you. This is something that has been ongoing, that this person is not bringing their share to the table. Maybe they're not even showing up. I think that um, with this coming up this way today, I think that this is kind of the last draw, the last time that you're going to be like um, expecting this person to actually show up with what they say they're going to bring to the table. I think from this point forward, you're going to be deciding what you're going to do to accomplish whatever this is without the other person's involvement. Taurus. Strength card. So Taurus, this is interesting because whenever this other person does not show up in the collaboration the way that you guys agreed on, what you're finding is that you don't really need that other person to collaborate with you to be able to do what you want to do after all. And so we see you really just deciding, you know what, I've got this, and just picking it up and moving forward with it um, solo. Next up, we're looking at Gemini. Chariot showing up in reverse for those of us with Gemini placements. Chariot in reverse. Okay, so Geminis, we may have a trip that's canceled, or for some of us, this may be um, that there's work on a mode of transportation that is canceled because the person with all the right tools or with the know-how is not showing up. So canceled, I shouldn't say canceled, maybe canceled or rescheduled. Potentially it could be rescheduled as well. Let's see, it's going to be different for each of you, so I shouldn't just say canceled. All right, next up we're looking at cancers. Nine of Rods showing up in reverse for cancer placements. This is really going to take you by surprise when this other person doesn't bring what they promised to the table as far as this collaboration. I think this is going to really blindside you, actually. Except now you've seen this reading. <laughs> Those who have not will be blindsided. Leo, Leo, Leo. Temperance card showing up here. This basically just says that uh, this is more advice than anything else. It says that it's a good idea to be patient with this person who is um, supposed to be collaborating with you. There's something going on where patience is actually, excuse me, where patience is actually warranted rather than rather than judgment or cutting the tie. So patience is the name of the game. <coughs> excuse me. All right, so that was Leo. Next, we're going to look at Virgo. Virgo, excuse me, guys, on the T. Virgo, you guys have the Five of Swords showing up in reverse. Virgos, I think you're coming to a point of acceptance that this person just doesn't have what it takes to um, do this collaboration with you like you thought they did. You're coming to a point of acceptance. That five of swords in reverse can be a peacemaker, but a lot of times 
And in this case, it feels like it's just coming to that point of acceptance. You know, all of our friends have issues. They're, they have flaws. You know, that's the thing about humans. And sometimes it takes a little bit of a wake-up call for us to realize what their flaws are and be able to accept them. I think that's what's happening here. You're accepting that. Okay. They just can't do it. All right. Next up, we're looking at Libra. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Libra's king of pentacles showing up in reverse. Libras, you've got somebody that you're trying to collaborate with. Maybe they're the financial backing for the situation, or they're the ones actually putting in the energy or the resources for the situation. And they just, they just don't have it. They just don't have it. That's why they're not able to collaborate with you. Scorpio. Hierophant showing up in reverse. This person that we are thinking that maybe we would collaborate with just does not have the motivation. They're not committed to it at all. Next up, we're going to look at Sagittarius. Eight of Pentacles. Sagittarius, I think whoever this is that you're trying to collaborate with has something that they need to take care of and so they're not able to collaborate. Whether that's a work situation at work or whether it's doing some work around the home or with the family, there's something going on about work that is keeping them away from this collaboration. They have to do some kind of work. Capricorn, what do we have for you guys? Seven of rods showing up here, Capricorns. Okay. Capricorns, what's happening here? Capricorns, I think that maybe you have uh, agreed to collaborate with someone. Excuse me a moment. Sorry about that. I'm back. And actually, I'm going to change that. I don't think you've agreed to collaborate with somebody. I think somebody has assumed that you will collaborate with them. I don't think you ever agreed to it. And I see you holding your ground here and saying, uh, no, never agreed to that. Not going to be doing that. Thank you very much. All right. So next, let's look at Aquarius. Here we have the moon card showing up. Aquarius, there's somebody who's not collaborating with you on something, and they're not really telling you why. They're not being forthcoming with that information. Some kind of something that I feel like it's personal, and they just don't feel really comfortable sharing it. Be interesting to see how that plays out for y'all. Pisces. You guys show up with the queen of rods here. Pisces, I'm pretty sure that whoever this is that is not doing their part for the collaboration, I don't think it's really bothering you. I think you recognize that you don't really need them to make this happen. And to be honest, Pisces, what it feels like to me is it feels like you just had them as a part of this collaboration really for their own benefit so they would feel helpful and useful or maybe so they would learn something. But it really was for their own benefit. I don't feel like you ever really felt like you needed to collaborate with this person. So whenever they show up not able to or not willing to, whatever the case might happen to be for each one of you, I don't think it phases you at all. I think you just pick up those responsibilities and move right on forward. Keep on walking. All right, so that's what I've got for everybody today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little while. I do appreciate all your precious, precious time. And, of course, I'm looking forward to doing readings for some of you later on over the phone or online, maybe even a long-distance Reiki session or two. And, um, yeah, if you guys need that, just reach out and get a hold of me. And, of course, for those of you who I don't see for that, I'll see you guys back on the next video. Oh, yeah, and don't forget to put a thumbs up on this video if you found it benefited you. Share it with others who may benefit from it as well, please, and put comments down below. Thank you. Thank you. Peace out, everybody.